What's up everybody, this is From the Dead's Collectibles and let's get into this week's toy haul. So first up is something food related and that is the Pokemon Oreos. Now these Oreos, like everybody is going crazy. It's the collaboration between Oreos and Pokemon. And these Oreos have like 16 different designs of 16 different Pokemon. And I heard that there's some pretty rare ones in here like Mew being the rarest. So we're gonna open this thing up today in this video and see what we get. All right, let's open this thing up. Pretty excited to see what we get. All right, let's see what we get. I'm not sure if it's like you get one design per package or you just get a mixture of the 16. So we'll see with the first cookie here. First cookie is a Bulbasaur. That is actually pretty cool. It is a Bulbasaur. So I'm gonna look through these and see if there's anything in here, if they're different or if they're all just Bulbasaur. So I'll be right back in a second. All right, after doing a little bit of searching through the thing, I haven't looked through all of them. I just pulled out a couple of them and there is a mixture of all the different ones that are out there. So I have in my hand right here because it's not very, you know, good to see on the camera from this angle. Uh, I have Cyndaquil, Dratini, and Sandshrew alongside that Bulbasaur we pulled a little bit earlier. So that's actually pretty cool. It is only on one side of the cookie. So like the other side is just like a regular Oreo cookie. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of like, you know, the Pokemon cards, you know, all the Pokemon cards had, you know, that regular Pokemon design card back and everyone had a different, you know, design on the front. So that's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna eat these things, guys. I'm not thinking about putting these away or trying to grade them or trying to sell them on eBay or anything like that. These things are going in my belly with some milk. Alrighty, guys, so let's move into the figures that I picked up this week. Starting off with this Superman from the Dark Father Build-A-Figure Wave. Now this figure has been sitting out on the shelves for a long time and it's finally on clearance. The sticker on the thing says $17, but there was another sticker on the uh, shelves, like where the pegs are and everything, that said $7. So when I went out there, you know, I showed them the picture because I took a picture of it and asked what's up with that, you know? And they said that, you know, that price on the tag was, you know, right, so it was $7. I did get this thing for $7, guys. That's awesome because this was the last figure that I needed in the build a figure, so I'm gonna build the Dark Father. So next up is some Transformers goodness with my boy Scorponok here. Now, like I said, I'm a huge Beast Wars fan and you know I had to pick up Scorponok here. He's gonna go right up there with my other Beast Wars uh, figures that I have gotten from this line and he's gonna look great up there, guys. I'll probably show a picture of, uh, you know, my little collection going on on my Instagram. You know, I'll put him alongside that also so you guys can check it out. Follow my Instagram. My link's down in the description down below so you guys can check that out. Now in the world of Marvel Legends this week, I picked up the Bolt Guardsman from the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure Wave. And like everybody else guys, I'm trying to build that bear. So this one is one of the ones that I needed in the wave. Now all I need is the Stealth Armor Iron Man to finish off the wave and build that bear guys. So hopefully in the next coming weeks I can find that Stealth Armor Iron Man and complete this wave. So last but not least is the stuff that we found underneath the shelves at Target. Now I really don't do the whole looking under the shelves thing because it's kind of shady guys. You know, you get some weird looks and sometimes you even get thrown out of the store. And I'm not trying to get thrown out of any stores because that limits your, you know, uh, scope of where you can find toys at. So I try not to do that stuff, but this time there was a shelf that was just giving me a funny vibe and I just had to go for it and I looked underneath it and I found some stuff. So the things that I found were a Star Wars Lego set and a Transformers Dark of the Moon Ironhide. And this Ironhide is from the Mech Tech Weapon System. I'm not too familiar guys, because like I said, I'm not a Transformers guy. So this one is actually pretty old. I think it's from 2010, because I think that's when Dark of the Moon came out. And this Star Wars uh, set is from 2013. So these are pretty old guys. And I got both of these for 15 bucks each because I just told the guy that I found these on an end cap, like in the clearance aisle. And uh, I just said that they look pretty old and I guess somebody found them and put them on the shelf. And I told him that I'm interested in them. And he was just like, yeah, just 15 bucks. It's pretty cool that they put it out on the shelf so somebody can buy them. 
And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool because that somebody is me. So I'm happy to get these ones in my collection. I might give this one to my brother because like I said, he's a Transformers guy. And this one I might sell because, you know, I could use a couple of bucks to throw in for more figs, guys. So this one might get sold. It is in pretty good condition. Like I said, I'm not a Legos person. I'm not a Star Wars, like, you know, Legos collector. So I might sell that one to somebody who might use it a little bit better than I will. So that's the haul for this week, guys. It was another great haul and another great hunt. What did you pick up this week? Were you able to find a good deal on the DC Multiverse Bat figures? Or were you able to find some of the Star Wars Black Series figures that hit the stores? Let me know down in the comments down below. With that being said, I'm from the Devs Collectibles. Like this video here, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we're trying to work our way up to that 300 subscriber mark for our next giveaway. Till next time, I'll see you later.